Hello and welcome to the channel. Today what we're going to talk about is sending anonymous emails using the mail connector. Let's go. Now let's talk a little bit about why this episode is important. So there's no shortage of mail related connectors available inside of the Power Platform and more specifically Power Automate. But if we want to send anonymous emails to recipients, how would we go about doing that? We don't want to be using the Outlook connectors to do this. We want to instead use the mail connector. Now there are many use cases for why you would want to do this. Don't try to use this to spam people. You will just get blocked. That's not the purpose here. The purpose is to be able to send notifications or reminders to people where the author of the flow has no interest in the outcome of the notification. For example, Maybe you've gone ahead, you've built a flow, and this flow is to remind people to submit their expenses. Now you, as uh, the maker, could care less if Johnny or Sally or Timmy or someone else doesn't get their expenses on time. That's between them and their leader. So you wouldn't want to be sending out those notifications or reminders using your connection and having the ability for someone to send a reply back to an email that gets sent out and it gets sent to you. Uh, you're not interested in the the outcome of that specific situation. So the result is you can go ahead and use this mail connector, which will have a reply to email address of Microsoft at powerapps.com. This is essentially an unmonitored email address. So if someone does go ahead and respond to the email that you send from your flow, it won't reach you and it'll basically just fall into a dark hole. Before we dive deeper into the content, I wanted to let you know about an emerging community found at serverlessnotes.com. This is a community resource that covers best practices, tips, and latest announcements built on contributions by technology enthusiasts from around the globe. On serverlessnotes.com, you'll find content related to Power Automate, Azure Logic Apps, Azure Service Bus, Azure Functions, and much, much more. Serverlessnotes.com is brought to you by Serverless360, a portal that is focused on operations and support for Microsoft Azure serverless resources. Now this is a complementary tool to the Azure portal and it helps organizations in supporting Azure serverless applications. You can find out more about Serverless360 at serverless360.com. Okay, so where do I find this so-called mail connector? So on the screen what I've done is I've gone into Power Automate portal and I've searched for mail in the connectors itself and sure enough we find this connector here. So it is called just mail and this is the connector that we're, we're talking about here. Not to be confused with any of these other email related connectors as well. Now one thing to note and this is part of the benefit of using this connector itself is that when we create a connection, we don't actually have to put in credentials. We're not putting in a username and password, and this essentially makes our emails anonymous. Now, naturally underneath the hood, Microsoft can tell how many times this connector is being used, and certainly if there is abuse, you know that is something that would get detected. But this is our prompt. We simply have to accept the terms and conditions, and it looks like underneath the hood, SendGrid is, use, is a service that's being used to support this connector itself. So that's all we have to do when establishing a connector, uh, sorry, a connection. And here is the result of the email that we will go ahead and send. And so what we'll do now, let's jump right into a demo and check this out. Okay, here we are. We are in the Power Automate Maker portal. And I have a very simple flow here where I can go ahead and just manually trigger a flow. And then from there, I have the ability to go ahead and specify an email address subject. We've got some rich formatting here that we can take advantage of as well. We can go ahead and uh, include attachments and you know BCC, CC, all of the attributes that you would expect to be part of a connector itself. So let's go ahead, let's just go and run this thing. And that has successfully been sent. 
And here I have gone ahead and received this email. As we can see, it's coming from Microsoft at PowerApps.com. And there also is the ability to unsubscribe from these emails. That is something to be very careful with. It is very, very difficult to unwind this action. So don't go ahead and unsubscribe unless you truly want to unsubscribe uh, because that will cause you more heartache down the road. Now, once again, if we go ahead and hit reply, then what we will go ahead and do is basically be sending an email back to this email address, not to whoever authored the flow, which is exactly the behavior that we are looking for. All right, so thanks for checking out this episode. If you are not following me on Twitter, I would encourage you to go ahead and do so. You can find me at Weirzy. In addition, you're obviously on YouTube, so I appreciate you watching this. Likes and subscribes are always appreciated, so go ahead and do that if you haven't done so already. Thanks, and we'll see you again soon on the channel. Take care.